Am I going to like this one better than the one I just had at Pat's? What makes this one different and better? You tell me. All right. All right, there we go. Well, guys, in the war between Gino's cheesesteaks and Pat's king of steaks. The thing is, it's Pat's and Gino's. Everybody talks about how good they are. What's up, guys? So I'm inside my Uber, and I'm headed to the famous Gino's Steaks, where you can get these Philly cheesesteaks that are so famous. But even more importantly, right across the street is Pat's King of Steaks. And we're going to see which one is better, and you're going to see it all. Check it out. Well, I've flown into Philadelphia to hang out with the brothers from Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, Pennsylvania Charter. And of course, I'm going to slip through these back streets to find where the Philly cheesesteak revolution started. You can get a Philly cheesesteak in a lot of restaurants in America, but are they as good as the ones actually in Philly? Well, we're about to find out if there's anything different about where they originated at Pat's King of Steaks. So there's the famous Pat's King of Steaks. And here's the famous Gino's Steaks. Now here at Gino's, we're obviously just sort of on a back street in the middle of nowhere in Philadelphia. Uh, it is a sort of central location in the downtown area, but gosh, it just feels like you're kind of on a side street. Quiet one at that. If you know anything about Pennsylvania, you'll know that it's, well, Philly cheesesteaks are big. There's not just Gino's restaurant, there's also Gino's gear over here. In the Gino's merch store, there's even a Gino's motorcycle. And of course, Pat's King of Steaks staring them down. And it might be first thing in the morning, but there's already people here getting their Philly cheesesteaks. Yep, that guy looks like he knows how to cook a cheesesteak. Here's your menu. Now, the way you order a cheesesteak is with or without. So you can get wit whiz, white American or provolone, and you can see you're right around 10 bucks. Pizza steak, mushroom steak, pepper steak, mushroom cheese steak, pepper cheese steak. Just work your way on down. And then you got the hoagies. Now, a lot of America doesn't know this, but a cheese steak hoagie is very different than a cheese steak because a cheese steak hoagie has lettuce, tomato, and oregano. <laughs> and that makes it a completely different sandwich. So you'll find that most people from the Northeast never order a cheese steak hoagie Whereas in the rest of the country, people would call a cheesesteak, all cheesesteaks, a cheesesteak hoagie. All right, guys, we're running into one unusual thing here at Geno's. Cash only. Cash only? I don't have cash on me. I gotta go find an ATM. So here, opposite of Geno's, is Pat's, King of Steaks, the other great steak place. And again, we're on kind of a, a back road here in Philly. Let's check out Pat's. And look at that. Pat's gets its own historical marker sign. So there's that. And as you can see, first thing in the morning here at Pat's, plenty of people lining up to order. And I'll tell you, it smells pretty freaking good here too. So how famous are Gino's and Pat's? Well, here's a few of the people that have stopped by. Gino's and Pat's are definitely sure. synonymous definitely synonymous with cheesesteaks. And here's our menu. So Pat's King of Steaks. The originator of the steak sandwich. This is the original one. Uh, not Gino's over there, but Pat's. And we've got a steak sandwich, cheesesteak, extra cheesesteak, pizza steak. And you can see the prices are right about the same. There's that pepper steak. That's what I'm planning on getting. And then you can also get some fish, some other stuff here. Small fish cake. Interesting. Now, how to order a steak, this is very important. Specify if you want your steak with or without. Onions, if you're a rookie, this should come naturally. Specify plain, cheese whiz, provolone, American cheese, or a pizza steak. Have your money ready. And then do it all in line. And let's see what these guys look like this morning. Look at that tasty steak. That looks like actual cuts of steak, not some kind of weird meat. Is he flipping it? He 
you guys take cards or no? Cash only. Cash only, all right. Also cash only here. All right, another thing I like. <laughs> well, fortunately for everyone, right across the street from Gino's and Pat's is an ATM machine. So you can get some cash and go get yourself a cheesesteak. All right, we're here to order our cheesesteak. I'll take one whip. Uh, let's do provolone, I think. One provy whip. One provy whip. See, I ordered it wrong already. There it is. It's getting the meat. It's got the provolone in. I'm gonna call this a fail right here because you're supposed to melt that provolone cheese in with the meat on the grill and mix it up. And so that way you get that gooey, cheesy mix, not just put cold provolone on a cold bun and slap some hot meat on top of it. But you know, hey, that's just my opinion. So is this the original cheesesteak sandwich? Yes, sir. It's not the one over there at Gino's. Oh, no, no, no. Which do you think, we're, we're logging both of them today for YouTube, which do you think I'm gonna like better? Yeah, yeah. What makes this sandwich special? Oh, it's the originators. The originators, that's right. Look at that. He's pressing the bun down on the grill to make the cheese and the bun a little softer. That's not how you do it. You gotta get the Wiz? Wiz the original. The original Ridge. Mm -hmm. I failed. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All right, sounds good, appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna step over here. We got some really hot peppers. We got some semi-hot peppers. Gotta grab you a couple peppers. Put them on the side. A couple nice ones. All right, guys, here we are at the famous Pat's. We got our cheesesteak with provolone. That's what it looks like right there. You can see the cheese, you can see the meat, you can see the onions. Mm. First, you got this bread. It's good, it's a little chewy. And the flavor I get right off the bat was mostly bread, because that's what we get in the first bite. This whole is, um, what's the word? A little toothy, hard to chew. It's okay. The meat is good. I see them spiced meat. I don't taste a whole lot of flavors in the meat. Just sort of meat and onions. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I expected something more. I've had better cheesesteaks. The thing is, it's Pax and Geno's. Everybody talks about how good they are. What I will say is different about this sandwich is the meat. It's different than most places go. There's a nice steak flavor to this meat. It's not processed. It looks like thin slices of steak. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm underwhelmed. My suggestion, add some spices and flavors that make it uniquely yours. A little garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika go a long way when it comes to steak. Oh. Maybe I should have done, done what he said and got it with the whiz. But I like mine with provolone, what can I say?
Overall, it's a cheesesteak hoagie. Do I want to finish it? No. Not bad, but gosh, all these years I've been expecting something like different and unusual and new and well, Philly. And here I am eating a cheesesteak that's no better than the cheesesteaks I've eaten in Michigan or in Florida. In fact, I got a little hint for you. I like the one that's straight out of Philly in Rockledge, Florida better. But that's my opinion. For me, the famous Pats, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a good sandwich. It's not great. It's just a good sandwich. But I can certainly see why in this bustling area of town, all right, be well, why they're so famous. I'm just not into it. So, let's go over to Gino's and see if it's any different. I mean, based on the flaming sign and the giant cheesesteak above Gino's, you'd think that it's gonna have the better cheesesteak. Just based on signage alone, I'm going with Gino's over Pat's. Well, let's have a look. Here we are to order at Gino's Famous Cheesesteaks. Howdy. I would like one with uh, and whiz. One with whiz and whiz. Yeah, please. She's slapping some cheese whiz in there. Eleven dollars. Same exact price as right across the street. Here we are. It's getting slapped in there. Look at that. That looks like pieces of steak instead of just bits of meat. You see? This guy looks far more Italian. I'm gonna trust him to make a cheesesteak better. There it is, same amount of time. Appreciate it. Am I gonna like this one better than the one I just had at Pat's? What makes this one different and better? You tell me. All right. All right, there we go. Definitely lots of confidence from the Pat's people. And uh, lots of confidence from them over here at Gino's. So guys, let's check out the sandwich and see what we got for $11 here at Gino's compared to Pat's. First thing is, look at this beautiful paper. So much better than the paper over at Pat's. Next, look at this greasy sandwich. I'm gonna need like napkins to eat this thing with. This is some serious grease. This is already, and look at the steak that comes out of this sandwich. I mean, that might have started the same thing that had that over at Pat's, but wow. This looks like some steak. More flavor to the meat, that's for sure. Let's see what goes. Mmm, already, I'm gonna tell you, this bun, softer, better, not as hard to bite on and chew on. Maybe it's a little fresher. Now, I have to say, this feels completely different than Pat's. Maybe I ordered the wrong kind of cheese, I don't know, but wow. The cheese whiz definitely makes a difference. Mmm. Wow. I feel like I'm eating something now. The steak, the soft hokey bread. The cheese makes a difference. Mm. And it's just dripping grease all over. That's the good stuff. After all these years of eating cheesesteaks, after all the buildup about Pat's and Gino's, I had to say that my expectation was they'd be the same damn thing. Mm. But Pat, I feel like they're running on being the original. But as far as who's got the better steak, I'm going with Dino. I'm not going to be able to finish this one either. I've eaten two cheesesteaks this morning. Well, one and a half. <sighs> if you're hungry, $11 is going to feed you a big cheesesteak sandwich. I can't move now a little bite. Okay, one more bite.
Mm. So for me, hands down, Gino Steaks, take the cake. And Pat, you gotta go back to the drawing board. I need more flavor in your meat, Pat. I need more flavor in your meat. And I need your bun not to be so damn hard, Pat. I didn't chip a tooth eating your bun, but it was a little toothy, I'm not gonna lie. A nice, fresh hoagie bun that's nice and soft. That's what people are looking for. Also, I'm just gonna point out, it's a little busier here than it is over there. <laughs> well guys, in the war between Gino's cheese steaks and Pat's king of steaks, it goes to Gino's! Yeah, those were better. Maybe it was the cheese whiz. Maybe it was that the bun was softer. Maybe it was that the steak actually had some seasoning to it. Gino's wins hands down for me, but you put it in the comments. Which do you prefer? Which one are you a big fan of? Gino's or Pat's? So from here in Philly, I'm James Disciple Johnson checking out real Philly cheesesteaks. And yes, I've had better cheesesteaks all over the world. Remember that. Motor oil beer ball. Do you want an awesome, epic, patriotic beard like this biker? Then you need Motor Oil Beard Balm. 13 all-natural, all-organic ingredients to help your beard grow longer and stronger. So you can have a great, patriotic beard. Because Uncle Sam needs you to buy Motor Oil Beard Balm. Tested by bikers. Loved by ladies. <laughs> Motor Oil Beard Balm. Available now at DiscipleChristianMC.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you see all the awesome free content we put out by rotating your device and clicking the red icon to follow our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.